Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Youth Matters. On today's show, we are discussing uh, the reasons as to why uh, you know uh, we have the challenge of teenage pregnancy. What are the effects? What are the causes? And you know, we've had experts who have been discussing this, uh, as well as having someone from uh, Teen Adoption Online and who has discussed in detail, you know, some of the problems that this has and the grooming issues and all of that. And we would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on these things that we've spoken about today? Do you know someone who's been affected by this in your family or around you? After that, I'm going to discuss it. I'm going to talk about young boy and the Tara or Biara game Maui's. Maui has a problem with family members, community members. After that, I'm going to talk about the law. It's Tara collector who is dealing with it. Tara family collector affect it. After that, I'm going to please show you the show. Number on the screen, as always, you know the numbers on the screen, as is the email address. Please do get in touch. I'm delighted to welcome. Aslam Bayon to the show, who's a community worker and also works uh, for the biggest uh, European uh, mosque in Europe, uh, the Eastern Mosque. So we look forward to hearing uh, your views. And uh, I'm glad that uh, Brother Hasnat stayed with us, who's a youth worker and also um, a presenter himself and a community leader. And finally, I'm glad that uh, Anna's still with us and has come back and uh, will provide the youth perspective. Now, Brother Hasnat, I'll come straight on to you. Um, so let's take it a step further so the child is born and then the teenager uh, who's had the child decides that they don't want that child what happens then um well i mean there's so many so many measures that can be taken then the child not um, not, not wanting the child that's born afterwards i mean most parents are going straight over to the social services um i mean the difficulty with teenage i mean if we break it down to that age of non-consent so under 15s um who didn't actually have, I mean, the law was, uh, they, they tried to change the law in 2006 and they failed in where an under 16 does not have the right to um, consent on abortion or not. So it's a parent's decision still. Um, so, I mean, um, as a result of that, child is born and what do they do with the child? Well, they go straight over to the social services. I mean, then where does it go from the social services? So there's the options of adoptions, but even before adoption, there is an emergency route that needs to be taken. So, it, you know, they look at immediately foster care. Yeah. Um, or you know um, sheltered homes these are the options that, that they look at and I think the biggest problem and it's been a problem for the last decade about two decades I should really go into is is the lack of Muslim foster carers out there if there's a Muslim child that's born or even if there's a normal child um, I mean because we firmly hold the belief that all child are born Muslim yeah, yeah. and then uh, at, at the appropriate age it's it's their choice so um, there's a very, there's a big lack of that okay thank you uh, Aslam Bhai, um you know we've got some people in our community who can't have children what do you say to couples who go down the route of abortion, where they terminate that child, and say they're teenagers? What's you know, how do you know how do we how do we tackle that as a community? Well, I mean, <clears throat> and Islam doesn't encourage for abortion. It's totally forbidden, actually. Yeah? yeah. When these things happen, we don't encourage obviously teenage pregnancy. But if things happen, we just have to uh, deal with it. We have to take the responsibility whether the mother or father or the parents or the community and. Uh, Sometimes uh, families are putting put under too much pressure, but they have to feel guilt and shame and the result. But sometimes they don't uh, accept their uh, daughter, you know, reject them, and that makes things worse sometimes. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're not encouraging, but we, we can encourage abortion as well. Same time, if it happens, it happens, but we have to take care of the child. The child, you know, has uh, the pregnant child has done nothing wrong actually. Mm -hmm. So okay, thank you. We have to get all the support uh, as Hassan always mentions. Sure. There are a lot of agencies around, and just take the support and make the best of it. Right? Sure, um, but that's that some teenagers might be delusional about the difficulties of actually bringing up a child. Okay, um, what would your advice be? Let's you know say it as it is. Um, what, well, what are the real challenges of having a child? There, um, I mean, there's there's no denying the challenges are there, but I think yes, it, it's it's well overrated and it's 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 it. It's blown out of proportion by those parents that are actually. I mean, you sometimes these these young people who have been in isolation, and I mean, you can come into the grooming side of later where there's an emotional sort of detachment from society. But um, these these youngsters, they're probably looking at the role models, and the role models that are out there, are, nine out of ten are successful people who are trying to make a career. So they're blowing out of proportion the stresses of having a child because they're actually trying to pursue a very very complicated career. But the truth and, and in essence of it, it's not difficult. And to be, it's 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 huge. Human nature. I mean, it's even animal nature. You even see animals. Sure. Uh, uh, there's no. But what about in terms of uh, bringing up a child? What are the challenges there? Because there might be someone who's a, who's a teenager thinking, you know what, I'll be okay. 
I've had the child. I'll be, you know, it won't. It's not going to be the end of the world. How difficult is it to bring raise a child? Um, in this day and age, it's. I mean, we're we're looking at a lot of difficulties because of the challenges of life now. Sure. So, I mean, the biggest thing that I mean, uh, young parents, um, and I hope I class myself one as, as one as well. But young parents are now you finally are. is actually trying to bring up a child where they have access to social media, access to the access to information. You know, if, if we go back to the eighties where you and I were brought up, I mean, information I was born so easily. Much later. Uh, <laughs> I won't give away your age that much, but uh, you know, it was very difficult for us yeah. to get the information that they get today yeah. for, and, and to get access to the outside world um, and to, to, to anonymous people, it's a lot easier. And that for, therefore, for parents, it's, they've got to be a lot more proactive. Sure. I mean, just to quickly um, use an example, um, back in the 80s, um, as growing up as a child, there was a TV advert. And I don't know whether some, a lot of people, I hope a lot of your viewers my age will remember. There was a TV advert where you, you saw a man come out of a car with a lollipop and he said to a child, here you go, do you want a sweet? Do you want a sweet? And it was a proper Cockney sure. accent. Do you want a sweet? Do you want a, and the child would say, no, no. And then it, you get a screen freeze, do not talk to strangers. Yeah. Those things won't work anymore. Social media is there. They'll get access one, one shape or form. Sure. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, we've got a caller on the line. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Salam, do you mean Bangladesh? What are you doing? Do you have any Bangladesh? Okay, please, bye. Acha. Ekhon shomoshya zeta ita apna ra identify korso in ar ita address korra. Ita ar kita benefit ota apna ra manchure buzaita. Ita ar be afare ami ekhon মানুষের আপনার কাছে দুই চারটা সাজেশন আছে পয়লা নম্বর কত হইল যে আমরা আর এখন পর্যন্ত বাসা একটা সমস্যা রয়ে গেছে যে আমরা গরো যে বাসায় মাতি আমরা বাচ্চারা বারে গেলে এই বাসায় মাতে না আর তারা বারে যে বাসায় মাতে গরো আইলে এই বাসায় মাতে না আমরার কমিউনিকেশন একটা বেরিয়ার আছে এটা হইলো পয়লা নম্বর সমস্যা আর দুই নম্বর সমস্যা হইল আমরা যারা বাংলাদেশও বড় হয়ে আইসি যেহেতু বাংলাদেশের কালচার হইল যে সামাজিক ভাবে সবে সবরে নিজের এক না মনে করইন আর দেখে অন্যা রাখইন এর লাগি এই যে প্রোটেকশনটা এই প্রোটেকশনটা এই দেশ নাই বুঝছেন না নি যে আপনি মুরব্বি মানার এই দেশ কোনো সিস্টেম নাই এটা হইল কি আরেকটা সমস্যা আর আরেকটা সমস্যা হইল শিক্ষার মাঝে শিক্ষার মাঝে এই দেশ তারা বুঝছেন না এটা হালাল আর এটা হারাম এটা তারা বুঝাইন না এটা দুষ আর এটা গুণ তারা এটা কইন না তারা কইন এটা আপনার লাগি বালা এটা আপনার লাগি বালা না এখন মনে হইলে করো কা না কইলে না এটা আপনার ইচ্ছা এখন কত হইল যে আমরা ইচ্ছা দিলাই কিন্তু ছোট ছোট বাচ্চা যারা এখনো বয়স হইছে না বুঝ কম হইছে আর হরমোনাল চেঞ্জ ওর তারার মাঝে টিন এজ বয়স ও এখন তারা কিতা হলে কি তৈব এটা মা বাপেও তারা গরো হইন না স্কুলেও মাস্টারও হইন না পুলিশেও গরো গিয়া হইন না এখন তারা মনে করেন যে এটা অটোমেটিক এটা বা চিন্তে গেলিব বা চিন্তে তো অটোমেটিক কোন তাকেও আমরা এক্সি না আমরা হেকাই লইছে করি আমরা এক্সি আমরা হেকাই লন না আমরা উচিত হইল কমিউনিটি হিসাবে আমরা যারা কম জানি যারা মনে করেন বালা বুঝুইন কমিউনিটির নেতা হল তারা বুঝছেন না কিছু ফাংশন করো কা আমরা কিছু সন্দানিও করো কা নিয়া হোকা বলে আমরা ফ্যামিলি লই যাও কা বাচ্চা কাচ্চা লই যাও কা আর আমরা বাংলায় সিলটি ইংলিশে হোকা বলে ওটা করলে আমরা বালা ওটা করলে আমরা মন্দ ওটা করুন জানো ওটা করুন না জানো এই সমস্ত কিছু কারণ যদি খাম যদি আমরা করি তো আশা করি আমরা বিপদ আপদ আল্লাহ আমরা কম দিবা থ্যাংক ইউ আর না আপনি যে পয়েন্টও বালাইছেন মার্শাল্লাহ খুব ভালো পয়েন্ট বালাইছেন আর খুঁইছেন আমরা খিলা ইকটার মানে ঠাকুর করতাম ফর্ম সো জাক মুল্লাহ খাইত আর উই অলসো হ্যাভ অ্যানাদার কোলার অন দ্য লাইন আসসালামু আলাইকুম কোলা আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়া আলাইকুম আসসালাম হাউ উড ইউ লাইক টু কন্ট্রিবিউট টু দ্য ডিসকাশন সিস্টার আই আই ওয়ান্ট টু আস্ক अबाउट ইম দ্য দ্য শেম দ্যাট এ প্রেগন্যান্ট চাইল্ড ক্যান ব্রিং টু দ্য ফ্যামিলি ইম হাউ ডাস দ্য ফ্যামিলি হ্যান্ডেল ইট এন্ড হোয়াট উড ইউ অ্যাডভাইস দ্য কমিউনিটি ইন অর্ডার টু মুভ দিস প্রবলেম ফরওয়ার্ড বিকজ আই বি আই থিং দ্যার ইজ এ লট অফ প্রবলেম উইথ uh the reputation of the family becomes far more important um and they try to hide things um and that is a bigger issue in terms of handling it sensitively mm. and making sure the daughter and the family are okay what would you suggest how would you suggest uh, that we should be dealing with it as a community sister would you mind sharing that uh well, we'll as get the community, views about it uh, my view point is that we should not um we should not judge the family because we are a very judgmental community it's the way you know we've been brought up sometimes so when we judge other people we put them under the spotlight and we make the situation far more worse than what it already is and that causes people to hide keep things secret find their daughter as an embarrassment as a, as opposed to helping the child to come over this very difficult situation um whatever reason the child's been sucked into that way of life it could be you know the parents have fault this community has fault the child has fault how do we deal with it thank you um thank you for your call sister um hopefully we'll have time to speak to our guest we've got another caller as well uh, assalamu alaikum caller wa alaikum assalam 
how would you like to contribute, brother, to the discussion? Yeah, uh, brother, I think this is a wide, widespread problem, you know. Because when I was growing up in uh, West Yorkshire, sure, yeah, there were a lot of these Pakistani boys, and uh, they used to do these things with white girls, yeah. And I used to confront these Pakistani boys and say, uh, you don't let people touch own women. Yeah? But you go after white girls. Mm. What's this about, you know? And now the Bangladeshi boys are doing it. In E1, all these places. Basically, these people are hypocrites, you know? What, what do we need to do, brother? What's your what suggestion? Is right, I think the mosque need to do something about this. They need to, when they do khutbah on Fridays, yeah. they don't talk about this. You have the guys, the culprits, praying next to you, but after the Juma, they go and do these bad things. Yeah. If the Imam Sab talk about these things in the mosque, maybe they feel some shame. And if you catch these people in your community, we should be naming them, shaming them. Because they keep their sisters and their wives and their women folk, yeah, protect them. But they go after other women's folk. Thank you, brother, for your call and, uh, you know, okay. uh, suggestion. Right. Uh, really appreciate that. Astambay, um, you know, you work in the biggest, you know, a mosque in Europe. Uh, tell me, you know, the brother suggests that we need to educate our community and we need to talk about these things on the power pier. What's what's your take yeah. on that? Just a little correction. I work for Council of Mosque. Okay. It's, it's based in the London. Based in, yeah. So I'm you have a direct link. I'm here in my personal capacity. Okay. Anyway. Thank you. Uh, the, bro uh, the last brother or the sister before they spoke uh, you know, very correctly is the education, raising awareness. Yeah. I can give you an example for um, a man come to Prophet oh, and he said, Ya yeah, Rasulullah, give him permission to, uh, to fornicate. Yeah. It's a very good example. And uh, Prophet Allah Allah took some time, very calmly explained, said, Okay, would you, uh, how would you like if someone done that to your mother? And they said, No. How, I said, how would, how would you like if someone done that to your sister? I said, No. And how would you like if someone asked mm. you to do your, you know, uh, mm, mm. mama or whatever? They keep saying, No, 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 but three, four times. And, and then Prophet Allah said, So then the person you're going to do it to, surely someone's daughter or someone's mother, so how do you feel? Then he makes the way he repented actually. Man understood. And he completely moved away from the road. So the brother was very correct actually. Is, is the awareness raising. And I'm really glad that you are really holding the show because we really hardly speak about the subject. Mm. We're very shy about it. And if our mosque did really spoke about it, the Imam did spoke about it, we can make a really ch a big change in our community. Okay. It's the education, raising awareness. So, I'm please show you about the I'm not obviously Kolar in Teohoi, I'm not committing as enough Koran. Kolar Hoiso and I'm not Master than Tentang involved for a Dorhart and Kutpa or Tazela, the Zemusi do I need it a genius horror, Taramanita Hora Bonhor. So, Afnara, please, uh, Shoriko, but um, coming back to you, Hannah, um, you know, the youth perspective, uh, tell me, from what you're hearing, from what you see in, in universities, colleges, do you think enough education is being provided to try and uh, educate our young people to not go down that pathway where they um, leave themselves vulnerable? In terms of university, everyone's, you know, adult wear, so I don't really think What about college and school? Secondary and school, it's incredibly important. And as the uh, previous caller said, you know, the mosques have such a huge platform and say Jumma days, mm. you know, if there are tons of young people who go there. Uh, they've got the platform to be really addressing the issues and highlighting the problems in the community. And then f from that, you know, things can be done about it. But when there's such a shortage of, you know, these speakers and this topic being addressed, there doesn't seem to be much hope, you know. Mm. You can see right now. Okay, thank you. Um, Come back to you, Brother Hasnath. In regards to, uh, you know, some parents might not be, some community members might not be in favour of, say, foster care as an option. Um, someone who's experienced it firsthand yourself, and, you know, you've, t mashallah, taken on that responsibility, what would your brief advice be? Because we're coming very short to the end of the show. Um, if I, just very brief advice is, um, there is a, there is a, 
very, very shortage of Muslim uh, foster carers out there and there's a big need for it and I think um, I mean there's there's differences of opinion when you look at Islamically but I think a lot of brothers and sisters need to understand and if I sort of get that message across that adoption may have been forbidden in the Quran that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa brought he brought up Zayd ibn Haritha and that even the Sahaba said they always knew him as Zayd ibn Muhammad so because he was adopted but then you know that was a so foster caring it's it's it's, it's within the Sunnah I mean our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he was fostered and we know that his foster mother mm. was Halima mm. so foster fostering there is, there is an element um, there is an element of um, you know sunnah behind it but the biggest it, it's the biggest giving back to the community and um, there's going to be children out there unwanted sure. children they need to be in an islamic environment and, and, and i would really urge them for and that and very briefly what would your advice be to people watching this at home you know from with your youth working background um, what would your advice be to the young people watching this who might potentially be a you know victim of this in the um, future and it's going it, I mean, as Rahma uh, earlier said in, in, in the segments, these, um, the, the youth that are out there, they are actually sort of isolated and they have this emotional attachment to the ones they're being groomed by. And really, um, my message to them would be that you know, if you have any friends out there, just go and tell them, share a little bit of your relationship with who you might be talking on WhatsApp or on, on social media. Just share the activity. And if something sounds wrong, be a bit more open and trusting to another person. Just don't sure. be, you know, encompassed into one person because this is the biggest cause sure. of it. And Asambay, uh, just a final question mm -hmm. um, before we finish. In terms of, you know, we have sometimes a child, you know, uh, a girl might get pregnant and then the family you often hear are totally against the idea of marriage and trying to or reconciliate between what's happened. What's, what's your advice yeah. to uh, you know, our people watching this? And uh, if you could ex explain that in Bengali, that would be absolutely uh, really so appreciated. Right, yeah. um, I'll, I'll just say in Bengali, yeah. I'm not a community, just a delay Delay is a big problem because um, the parents are also very choosy. They want the family to, you know, all this um, traditional thing. They want, they're looking for different status or something like that. So initially, I um, had a proposal like one of the major. The major rejected it. Maybe the boys and girls are in love already. Then I found a bala boy. So it's a our traditionally my office is Daniel. It's a. I think they just go. They they just they just go ahead the marriage. Marriage is a holy thing. Har kuch hoti. It's a na khara kharone. Bhot gote na isi jata. Dilay khara kharone. Or to fully side door my office reject khara kharone. They have said, "Kisu din pore my ta pregnant hoyi kisi ki." So it's a very special issue. So, I'm not sure if you look here. You know, it's a genuine case. They're really interested in each other. It's good for everybody. It's good for everybody. And, uh, yeah, and Hannah, just, you know, your kind of last uh, brief thoughts uh, regarding this. What would you, you know, if, if, you know, if there are parents watching this and if a friend of yours came to you and said, look, I'm pregnant, you know, um, I'm scared to speak to my parents, what would you say to the parents who are watching this now? I would say that you have to, it's, it's a necessity to make sure that your child feels safe and you know, comfortable talking to you about anything. Thank you. you need to, I think, hold, hold back the judgment. That's fine. Because a lot of Bengali parents seem to do that and that's thank you. something people need to work on. Thanks. Um, we, we've actually run out of time. So just you know, thank uh, all our uh, people who have actually phoned in, our callers and you know, people who have emailed as well, our panel members, just to say you know, this is a topic where if we don't talk about it, you know, it could lead to something that will be devastating for everyone involved in the family. So please, you know, parents who are watching this, speak to your children. Children, you know, if there are things that are happening in your life that you're not feeling comfortable with, decisions you want to make, speak to someone before you make that, before it's too late. After that, you know, Thank you. Afnara ne please. Afnara suto yang bai bani thola gamra matoka. Afnara huru thain thola gamra matoka. Tarar buzoka. Ekta na ne khul. Ita itar mazhe hamai le kito ibo. Tarar laga afnara zodi matko ta khoroi na. Tha to ekta amra deal khortam fartan na. So amra shomai ke sigin. Afnara please balat akpa. Ar inshallah see you soon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.